Hi students, welcome back to uh, Mr. Hartnick, uh, Computer Practice with Mr. Hartnick or Mr. H. And today I just want to show you how to open a Microsoft Word document. And I'm going to do a basic introduction as to the, the interface of the Microsoft Word document. So when you open Microsoft Word, by clicking on um, the Word icon, you open up Microsoft Word. You will find that you get certain options. So first of all, you get your templates. And you will always start with a blank template. But also pay attention that there are other templates that you can use if you would need them. For example, I click on more templates. Um, what if I wanted to quickly type as a resume, but I don't have, uh, you know, I don't have an idea how to start. There's a preset template for you. There's a table of contents, there is there's even menus and brochures that you can use. So just be aware that there are other templates that you can use if you need it, if you would need them. But this is computer practice, so we are going to use a blank document. So click on blank document. Microsoft Word will then open up for you. Pay attention, Microsoft Word is characterized by the color blue. Just like Excel is characterized by the color green, for example, PowerPoint is characterized by the color orange. OneNote is um, characterized by the color purple and Publisher is characterized by the color uh, uh, turquoise blue-ish type of color. Alright, so just remember that Microsoft Word is blue. So that's a nice way to identify it as well. So on top of your screen you will find the title bar, this part over here. And what's nice about it, it gives me information about my document tells me what is the document's name, what is the title of the document. So this document, I didn't save it as anything specific yet. So this one is by default called Document 1 and it's made in Microsoft Word. And then I have on over here, it also tells me what the what the username is or who's, who's, who's logged in. So that's me, Mario Hartnick, my username. On my right hand side, I have my exit button. I want to close the document. I have my restore down button. Yeah. Right, I want to make the window just a little bit smaller and I can restore it to bring it back to its original size and I can click on minimize. So for example, I want to use something else, um, maybe want to open the internet or whatever and I just quickly minimize my screen and I look at something else. But uh, if I want it back, I just click on Microsoft Word again. Um, but what's really nice about this title bar, you have this search box here. What if you want to find something or you want to know something but you can't find it? And you can click in the search option here. So for example, I want to find font. Just type in font then. It's going to tell me what about font do you want. Do you want to change the font size? There it is and I can do it there. Do you want to change the font color? Or do you want to change the actual font? Alright, so that is what you can do in the search box. Nice little option here that you have. Um, then you have your shortcut menu for your saving. You can make sure that you auto save. You can activate that. You can undo and you can redo. Also, it's also available on your title bar. And then, then we go over to this part here. Now, this is called a ribbon, yes. But more importantly, the ribbon is divided into different tabs. This is my own tab, my insert tab, my design tab, my layout tab. References, mailings, review, view, and help tabs. And each tab is divided into certain groups, right? And these groups have icons, which are also referred to as buttons or commands. And if you go into the, uh, for example, a shortcut menu or into a specific menu of a group, then you get more options. A dialog box will open. This box is called a dialog box and it has a name. So there's my font. You can also just say font box. Or there's my font dialog box where you get a lot more options. Um, all right, so that is the, the ribbons and the tabs that you get. And then at the bottom screen, or before we go to the bottom screen, remember you must always make sure that you, your ruler is visible. And how do you do that? Under view, you must please make sure that your ruler is ticked so that the ruler is shown. If it's not ticked, you won't have a ruler and things like tab stops and margins won't be as clearly identified. So please make sure that you, you 
select the ruler so that you have a ruler okay on your top side and on the left hand side the ruler will then be displayed at the bottom of the screen we have also other things which tells you what page you are on how many words have you typed so far all right that's actually one word it's quite a few letters but it's one word if you divide a space between your words it will start to count the actual words as you can see it also tells me um, what type of English is set up in other words my dictionary is set up for English South Africa um, over here I can change my my views that's a focus view All right to go back I just need to uh, restore it again like that and this one is a book view it looks like that um, let's restore it again and this one is a this is one the normal view that we were in before and this one is a website view. all right yeah i can just go to normal again yeah i have as i can change the size of my of my page all right maybe i have some visual um, impairment problems i can't see properly then you can just make the screen bigger like that all right that in a nutshell people is the interface of microsoft word join me in the next video where i will go into more detail um, of microsoft word where we will explore the different tabs and do certain functions but please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video